A while ago, I created this video right here on Discord reaction roles, showing you how to set up reaction roles in your own server using the YAG PDB Discord bot. It was a little bit of a complicated process, and although it helped a lot of you guys out, there were still some questions along the way because it was just a lot of little steps. But now, Discord reaction roles are way easier than they've ever been. A different bot stepped up to the plate and decided to make this process way easier, way smoother. And so, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And by the time you're done, you'll be setting up reaction roles in no time. Now, before we jump into the rest of this video on the new and improved way to do Discord reaction roles, I got to say a huge thank you to the longtime sponsor of this channel, Placeit.net. Placeit has thousands of mockups and templates for stream overlays, Twitch panels, logos, merch, YouTube end screens, animations, and so much more. Once you find the template you're looking for, you can customize colors, text, and other elements to make the perfect design creation. After that, download it and it's completely yours to use however you want with full commercial license. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on design work, you can purchase a monthly or yearly subscription to place it and get unlimited downloads. Just use my 15% off discount link in the description below. As always, you guys, we love Place It. Massive thank you to Place It for sponsoring these videos. And uh, like I said, check out the link in the description of this video to save 15% off of your monthly or yearly subscription. It's a great deal, and you get all the graphics that you need taken care of in no time. Okay, so here we are in our Discord server's community called The Flock. And if you'd like to join The Flock, discord.gg slash flock is a link to this uh, server. There's also a link down in the description of this video, but feel free to jump on in. We'd love to have you be a part of our Discord. You can see right here on The Flock, discord server we have a welcome screen and under this welcome screen we have a couple of different things uh, one people can select what platform they stream on two they can actually select whether they want to know when i go live on twitch or not so they can become a part of the notification squad and then we also have a rules section where you go through our, our rules here and you can uh, agree to the rules by clicking this little check mark. And so a lot of people have asked me, how do you set this stuff up? And in that previous video about YAG PDB, I showed you guys how to use that bot in order to set this up. But it's kind of complicated. And if you want to do things like have multiple reactions on one message, YAG PDB is not the easiest option. DinoBot has now made this whole entire process so easy, it's going to blow your mind. So let me show you guys how to set this up where you can have reaction roles just like this. For this test, we're going to go over to our test server here, and you can see where we were actually, this is where we actually did the YAG PDB tutorial. Uh, we set up our welcome message, but let's say that after the welcome message, we want to have, you know, where people can select what platforms they stream on. So the first thing we got to do is add DinoBot to our Discord server. And if you go over to DinoBot's website, which is uh, dino.gg, and I'll have a link for this down in the description of this video as well. But uh, go ahead and go through the add to server process. If you click on that, it'll walk you through. It's super easy. But once you get it added to your Discord server, uh, you're going to see this dashboard area right here. And if we scroll down to the bottom to where it says modules and we look right down here, we're going to see reaction roles. And this is literally a dream come true. You click on settings and it's going to take us into the dashboard of reaction roles. Now, before we do anything here, there's a few things we have to do on our Discord server that will help this all work properly. So let's go ahead and go over to Discord. And uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to set up the roles for um, the reactions so that when people click, for instance, on Twitch, it's going to give them a role that shows Twitch streamer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to uh, the server. We're going to right click on it and we're going to go up to server settings. Then we're going to go to roles. Once we do that, I've already set up our roles, uh, but you'll just hit create role right here and then you'll go through and select what kind of role you want to add. So when we did these, I hit create role, I titled it and then I selected a color. And uh, so you'll go ahead and add Twitch, YouTube, Facebook and any other you know role reaction that you want to use. It doesn't have to be for streaming either. You can use this for any application. So if you want it to be, you know, give this a thumbs up if you, uh, you know, like dogs or whatever, you can do that for your reaction roles as well, right? Uh, so we put Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook in here as three different roles. You can go through, do permissions. We've got videos on permissions. I'll pop a card up at the top here if you want to see how to do permissions for your Discord server. Um, but once you get your role set up, the next thing we want to do is add custom emojis for each of these. So for instance, we're doing, uh, you know, what kind of platform do you stream on? 
So we're going to go to our emoji section and I've actually uploaded the Facebook logo, the YouTube logo and the Twitch logo as an emoji on my server. So you can do that by just clicking upload emoji and uh, and then when you click on that, it'll ask you what graphic do you want to upload and uh, you can get these particular logos from the Facebook media asset pack, the YouTube asset pack and the Twitch asset pack. So if you just go to Google and look up Twitch asset pack or Twitch media pack or something like that, it will take you to their branding, um, you know, website where you can get all of this stuff. Same thing for YouTube, same thing for uh, Facebook. So make sure you get the official logos if you're going to use those. We've uploaded all three of them here. So now that we have those done, we have everything set up in our Discord except for one final thing. And that is because we've already added Dinobot, we need to go down here to the uh, the settings, server settings, go to our, our uh, server settings after right clicking. And we're going to go to roles yet again. And we're gonna make sure that Dino is on here, right? Dino does show up on here. And if we click on permissions, it's got everything pretty much turned on, right? So Dino's turned on there. But the other thing we need to do is go to the actual channel itself that we're going to put these reaction roles in. So for instance, you can go to the category and do your roles under a category by hitting edit category and then permissions. Or you can go to the specific channel, which is our welcome channel, hit the gear and go to permissions. And that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to go down here. We're going to add Dinobot is already added, but you're going to click this little plus select Dinobot, which should pop up right under here under rules, put Dinobot on the list and make sure you have a couple of things check marked. First one is view channel. You want the bot to be able to see the channel, scroll down a little ways, make sure that add reactions is turned on, uh, use external emojis is turned on and read message history just allows them to see the messages that are in this channel right and now we've got everything set up on the roles and everything like that so we can go ahead and construct our message and then put our discord reactions on them so let's go ahead and exit out of this we're going to set up our message here and i'm going to go ahead and put i'm going to start it off with an emoji uh let's go ahead and put the let's type an arrow here i'm going to use this one and it'll say what platform do you stream on and then we're going to hit post right so this has now been posted a secret to this guys is if you don't want to have this break between the posts then if you formulate multiple different posts and you post them back to back so let's say that I said uh, you know do you like dogs and then I posted that one. See how that there's no, even though these are two different messages, there's no space like this line with a new date. Uh, if you get everything formulated the way that you want it, then for instance, like in our discord, when it says welcome, and then you see all these different individual messages, I posted all of these back to back in very quick succession. So 4.55 AM, 4.55 AM. I literally wrote all this stuff up and then just posted, 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 copied and pasted and posted. Uh, so that's how you can avoid having those lines between it to make it look really clean. That's just a little side note. Let's go back down to our test server and uh, we have what platform do you stream on? We'll delete the dog one here. There we go. So this is our this is our message. This is where we want to have the reaction roles. People can click on them and they can determine what platform they stream on, right? Now, one thing you want to do before you set everything up on the dashboard of Dinobot is make sure that developer mode is turned on in Discord. This is one final step I forgot to mention. But if we click on this gear right down here and we go to advanced, which should be, if you scroll down, it should be right down here. Click on that and make sure you turn on developer mode. Make sure this is green because you're going to need developer mode for this next part. Once you have your message put in here, you're going to click these three dots as long as you have developer mode turned on and hit copy ID. You will not be able to copy the ID if you don't have developer mode turned on. So we're going to hit copy ID and then we're going to go to our Dinobot dashboard and we're going to set up. Remember, we went to reaction roles from the uh, the dashboard, you know, the dashboard and then scroll down reaction roles, that whole thing. Once we're here, we're going to go ahead and name this. So we're going to make it platform. And then we're going to select a channel, which remember our message is in the welcome channel. So we're going to click on welcome. And then you got three options here. You've got a plain, uh, plain message, embed message, and existing message. We're going to click on existing message. This means that we're putting in that message ID that we copied just a second ago. 
So it tells Dinobot which message we're wanting to put reaction rules on. Now, you can also, if you do plain message, you can actually type up your whole entire message and then have reaction rules added to it right through here. But if you do existing message, it's actually going to give you that ability to really form format this however you want, make it look nice, put all the emojis and, you know, spice it up however, and then you're going to use whatever you've already set up to look nice. That's how we did it in the flock discord with all of the, you know, uh, you got the, the bold, uh, the bold text here. You have different emojis. You've got it spaced out. We did all of that before I added the reaction rules. So let's go back down to our test server. Um, what platform do you stream on? We've got that set up. We've already copied the ID. We're going to go back to our dashboard and use existing message, paste the ID in there. And then this is where the reaction rules come in. We're going to hit the little plus button. We're going to select uh, the first one's going to be our Twitch reaction role. So we're going to click on that one. And uh, this little plus right here is where we add the emoji that we just uploaded to our Discord server, right? So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on the Twitch logo. So there we go. We got Twitch. And then we're going to click the plus again. We're going to go to YouTube and click on the YouTube uh, YouTube emoji right there. And the last one will be our Facebook role, which we want to assign if people stream on Facebook. So we're going to click that and go to Facebook. There we go. All right. Uh, under options, you've got a couple different options. Um, you can allow people to get multiple roles. Like if you want them to be able to click all three of them and be a Twitch streamer, YouTube streamer, and Facebook streamer. Or you can turn this off if you want it to only allow them to have one role, like are you a primary Twitch streamer or YouTube streamer or Facebook streamer? In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and leave all of them on just for you know, testing purposes, uh, but you select whatever you want there. You can also ignore certain roles and, uh, and select certain roles that are able to do this. Uh, if you want anything specific, if you want the counter to stay at one instead of showing a whole huge number of people that have clicked on it, you can do that. Um, you can also do fun things like shuffle the emojis around and things like that. Uh, we're going to leave all this the same. We're going to leave all that the way it is. Hit save. And see, it says success. Actually, you can't see that because it's underneath my screen here. But it says success down in the bottom right-hand corner. And we now have our platform welcome message rules added. So when we go back to Discord, check this out, you guys. We literally have our reaction rules right here all added automatically through Dinobot to the message that we set up. So when somebody clicks on, for instance, the Twitch logo, now look at my, uh, let me show you here. These are the rules I have. I only have verified member right now, but if I click on the Twitch logo, now look at that. I got the Twitch role, right? If I click on the YouTube, now I've got Twitch and YouTube. If I click on Facebook, I've got all three. And I can also turn one off. Let's say one day I decide, hey, I'm not gonna stream on Facebook anymore. I unselect it and it takes away the Facebook role. So it's that easy, you guys. Literally, it's going to uh, give you the role if you select whichever one, and it will take it away if you unselect it. Or if we go back and we change it to where it only allows you to have one at a time, let me show you this. Go back in here. We will uh, go to options, and we will unselect this right here. Hit save. There we go. Go back to Discord. And now if I click on Facebook, it's going to take away Twitch, right? So I have the Facebook role, but if I go back over here and hit Twitch, it took away Facebook and now I have Twitch. So very cool way to do Discord reaction roles, you guys. Literally so much easier than the other YAG PDB thing. The, the hardest part is literally just making sure that you have your roles set up, that you have your developer mode on, you have your emojis uploaded, and you put your message in here the way that you want it. But once you get those things done, which is kind of all Discord stuff, once you get all that ready, now you use Dinobot, and this whole thing right here makes it so easy. You don't have to do anything else in your Discord besides setting up the roles and the emojis that you want to use. Um, and then, of course, make sure the permissions are turned on for Dinobot so that the, it can actually put those roles on your message. Uh, so anyway, there it is, you guys. You're set up, and you can do this on multiple things. So for instance, if I want to add a new, a, a different place in my Discord server with reaction roles, I just hit new message. And I can start over and put a whole new message. And now I'll have two places that have Discord reaction roles. So there it is. Got it all set up. Got it all ready to rock and roll. People can come in here. They can agree to our rules. They can select what kind of uh, platform they stream on. We can do a bunch of stuff with this. You can even use it for things like, uh, you know, taking polls. Like, hey, guys, do you like this name or do you like this name? If you like this name, for, you know, click the red circle. If you like this name, click the blue circle. And people can vote back and forth and you can see which team they fall on, right? 
So there it is right there. Discord reaction rolls, ladies and gentlemen. Super easy, super simple. Dinobot literally has revolutionized Discord reaction rolls. So um, I, this is my recommendation now, you guys. Dinobot for Discord reaction rolls makes it awesome. Uh, if you got any questions about this, leave a comment in the description of this video. I'll try to get back with you. It should be pretty straightforward, but if you're running into any trouble, let me know. Uh, also, if I, I did notice earlier, when I was trying to do this, I was having an error every time I was trying to add reaction rules to messages, and that error was because I had not set up my Dinobot permissions. So make sure you get your Dinobot permissions set, like we showed you, uh, with you know viewing channels and adding reactions and things like that in that specific channel. That way you won't have any issues with this working. If you like this video, guys, make sure you smack that thumbs up button and help get this video out to as many people as possible. And of course, if you like this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to know when videos like this go live. Really appreciate you guys watching. I am a streamer on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. So you can come over there and talk with me anytime. If you got a question directly, that's a great place to ask because I actually am able to get back with you. I, a lot of times I get DMs and I just can't get back with everybody. So jump on into my Twitch stream twitch.tv slash evil garrett we would love to have you um also you can find me on twitter instagram tiktok everywhere so jump on in there and don't forget our discord discord.gg slash flock we would love to have you in the community there as well but with that being said you guys have a wonderful day as always rock on peace out god bless and last but not least i busted the door I busted the door oh, oh or dude no. Never mind. Well. it's okay i got this Guy right here. I got a jump. I got a jump. Guy right there. Another uh, full team right here. Full team underneath you. I'm gonna live things. Got them both. Oh my gosh, bro.